Hi, welcome to Peaceful Pilates with Natalie, the modern hippie mama. This particular series of exercises is called flat abs. We're gonna start on our back, drawing the knees in towards the chest. You're gonna take your heels together, toes apart. So this would be a classical first position if you were taking a ballet class. You're gonna press the heels together very, very tightly. Take the hands back behind the head, right at the nape of the neck, and then lift the head, neck, and shoulders up. Extend the legs out to 45. Point the toes, flex your feet, and then pull them right back in. So we try to create resistance. You press away, point the toes, flex the feet, draw it right back in. This is very similar to if you were on a Pilates reformer and doing the foot series. So you imagine that you're creating resistance with your legs. You pull that back in as you engage abdominals, extend, point, flex, pull in. Again, extend, point, flex, pull in. We'll go for two more. Extend, point, flex, pull in. One more time, extend, point, flex, pull in. Now you're gonna draw the knees together, take the hands to the shins and just rest the head. If at any point the neck starts to bother you, make sure you put the head down and just give the neck a rest. As you start to strengthen the abdominals, it will be easier to hold the neck up. Take the hands back behind the head, same placement, right at the nape of the neck. Lift the head, neck, and shoulders up. This time the legs are gonna stay together in parallel tabletop. Extend the legs out, flex the feet, and then pull them all the way in, in, in. Inhale to reach, point, flex, exhale, drop right back in. And again, extend, point, flex, pull it in. Reaching the legs out, point, flex, pull, pull, pull. Continue like that. Now every time that you pull the legs back in, I want you to also pull the navel in towards the spine. So legs pull in, abs pull in. Extend, point, flex, pull in. Try two more. Extend, point, flex, pull in. One last time. Reach, lengthen, and then bend in. Hands to shins, rest the head. We're gonna wrap the arms around the shins and just gently rock from side to side. Feels so good to massage the lower back. And then pause right back into center. Hands go back, right at that nape of the neck. Lift the head, neck, and shoulders up. Now look towards the navel area. With our eyes, I want you to find your belly button. See if you can pull it in closer towards the spine, flattening out that lower abdominal region. The elbows wide to the side. Lift up, curling up, engaging the deepest, most internal layer of your abdominal wall, which is called your transverse abdominus. You're gonna curl up a little higher. Now, when we engage that transverse abdominus, what happens is we have a healthy spine. Extend the legs out to 45. Turn the legs out so you're back in that heel together, toes apart, and then crisscross the legs. So we cross thigh over thigh, pointing the toes and curling up. Now as you're moving, you're also breathing as deeply as possible. So you breathe in, filling up the lungs, the ribs, the belly, the diaphragm, and then as you exhale out, you feel the belly pull in towards the spine. Let's go for three more, for two, and last one. Draw knees in, hands to shins, rest the head. That gentle rock side to side. Feels so good on the back, on the belly, and in the mind, we start to slow down the thoughts and we're able to find that inner peace. Pause through center. Lift head, neck, and shoulders up. Place the hands back. Extend the legs out to 45. Now we're gonna add a lower and lift. You lower the legs just a little bit. Flex the feet, lift them right back up. Now the question is how low should you lower your legs? That's all dependent on how strong your abs are and how you're anatomically built. So what do I mean by that? If your lower back is very, very arched, you wanna make sure that you're not lowering the legs too much. If your legs are very long, you don't wanna lower the legs too much because it's gonna to start to pull on the hips or pull on the lower back. 
What we want to do is strengthen the abs. So even if it's tiny little movement, but you're feeling it all in your core, then you are doing it perfectly. Let's go for three more. Point the toes to lower, flex the toes to lift. Two more. And lift. Last one. Lift up. Draw knees in. Wrap in the arms. Rest the head. Gentle rock from side to side. Beautiful work. We're going to take the feet down to the ground, binding the fingers, reaching towards the heels of the feet. Just relax the shoulders. Take a deep breath in through the nose. On the exhale, you're going to reach the arms up to the ceiling, lift the head, neck, and shoulders up, and look towards your navel. Curl up a little bit higher. Now send the arms to right above the level of the hips. Curl up even higher, even higher, even higher. Hold it here. Three little pulses up. You're going to blow out of your mouth. Shh, shh, shh. Hold here. Curl up a little bit higher, making the sound shh activates those inner abdominals very intensely. Curl up. A little bit higher, and exhale, shh, shh, shh. Lower down, lift the arms up, take a breath in. Exhale, lift head, neck, and shoulders up, look towards the belly button, curl up. Now a little trick that I always like to do is try to think about those lower abs reaching to the hips. That's gonna shorten the space, really engage and flatten the abs, which is the goal. Curl up a little higher, and pulse up for shh, Two more times like that. Pulse three, two, one. One more, curl up. Pulse three, two, one. Lower down, arms lift. Beautiful, draw the knees into the chest. Now you're gonna rock just side to side a couple of times. We're gonna pause through center. Take the hands to the hamstrings, rock yourself up to seated. Cross the legs. Take the hands right into heart center. Deep breath in. Exhaling out, <sighs> fantastic job, thank you so much.